This video is one of the more important ones that I've made in a while because what you're about to witness is absolute propaganda on a national scale that is being broadcast into American homes, which is a direct threat to our nation and frankly our democracy to quote the anchors that you're about to witness. We'd like to think that here in America we've got things pretty great and we do, most of us live pretty good lives and things here could be better and we do have a lot of work, you know, we have to do of course. But this issue that has, you know, been brought to light is terrifying to people like me who do our best to stay educated on political facts and the realities of our nation. And if you're already like me, you don't trust the media for obvious reasons that have become, you know, more obvious over the last few days. So, let's talk about what happened, okay? So, over the last few days, a controversy over a viral video from Deadspin that shows anchors on TV stations across, you know, a few dozen TV stations, reading from the same script like robots. Now, this script was oddly conservative. It attacks the prospect of fake news, ironically. It claims that this biased journalism that, you know, they're saying they don't take part in is a threat to the democracy of our country and contains a promise to continue bringing journalistic facts before all else. But, of course, this script was literally used by dozens of stations as what anchors have called a forced read. So a forced read is when the company that owns the station presents something in a script and it has to be read on the news. If you refuse to do it, you will literally lose your job. And anchors have stated that they have done all of this out of fear of their careers, and there have been some anchors that came out without, you know, expressing where they're from, and have said that they there there's been times that actual propaganda has been read on TV. Imagine that. If you refuse to read propaganda on the news, you will get fired. Have fun going through hell trying to find another anchoring job, because if you think that this network is the only skewed network that's twisting facts and commentary to present one political opinion and its propaganda, you're absolutely wrong. So I'm gonna show you this video and I just want you to watch carefully and gather your opinion on this, okay? So here we go. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming some media without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. So you saw it, and now I want to talk about who is behind this and what they're planning to do next. Sinclair Broadcasting Group is who is behind the script. They currently own and operate 193 stations throughout the United States and are currently working on a $3.9 billion deal that needs to be approved by the FCC in order to gain control of more which would push this number to 233 stations in markets across our nation. This group has been an ally of President Trump for a while now, and their news has been oddly favoring of him. Obviously, this group is not the only one doing this, but they've been leaning conservative for a while now, and it's even more apparent now that all of this has happened. And since the scandal broke, anchors for local TV stations are being forced to keep silent to outside organizations about what's going on. So, you know... They've been handed propaganda, and they want to talk about it to outside people, but they're not allowed to. Their journalism integrity, that Sinclair loves so much, quote-unquote, is not allowed to work against them, okay? Journalism is all about presenting facts, and they're quite literally using people's careers as pawns against them to suppress the facts. That's because this evidence appears to show that what this group is doing is quite literally conservative propaganda. They've built a well-oiled machine that they can use at any time to present their beliefs and their agendas as factual. And unfortunately, due to them having the influence that they do, their networks are being viewed by everyday Americans who will believe all of this to be true. It's nearly equivalent to state-ran TV, okay? This is something you would expect to be hearing from North Korea, okay? We as Americans don't take the time to realize that this stuff happens every single day in our country and that the media in our nation cannot be trusted. And our president defended Sinclair Broadcasting Group because this organization defends him at every turn. They are a team, and they will stand together against the flack, and you're the problem for thinking that it's wrong. 
Regardless of your political views, you have to realize that, number one, this is not okay. The president of our country is playing a very dangerous game when he stands behind fake news like this, even if it's in his support. Because now his fans are just all on this big hype train and they're going to take anything he says as fact over anything that's said against him. So when things come out that he's done and there's groups like this that are defending him and they're creating false propaganda and they're creating news that is not real or they're suppressing the truth and giving slanted perspective, they are playing a dangerous game. They are directly interfering with the true principle of being an American. This is a decision that people need to be making on their own. Your political views are your views, okay? Don't take it from the media. Of course, you want to use facts to help build your political opinions, but don't let Fox News or CNN or Sinclair tell you how to think. But keep in mind that this group that is creating this propaganda is trying to expand their range of networks and stations, and they are not the only group that is doing this. CNN, NBC, Fox, all of our news has bias in it. Journalism is dead in the United States because it is easier to create sensationalist false narratives that you can sell to somebody's political views because the facts aren't going to sell like slanted perspectives. There is a reason that this is being done. This should worry and anger you regardless of what political belief that you are subscribed to, okay? If you're conservative, of course, it was a conservative network that got caught, but the liberals are still slanting media too and using propaganda to strike fear in their viewers. It's quite likely that this situation is happening from all perspectives. Any political belief and all political beliefs are being slanted against one another by these companies that claim to be about journalism and we just don't realize it. This is the American epidemic, fake news. But there's a way to make sure that your voice is heard in this situation, okay? You really can make a difference in this one. If you want to stop Sinclair Broadcasting Group from acquiring more channels, now is the time to do so, okay? I have prepared for you a script in the description to use in order to contact the FCC and make your voice heard. Or you can even say your own thing if you can think quick enough to do it and you don't have issues with doing that. But call them, email them, tweet them, send them in a letter, just do something, okay? Make your voice heard. Unfortunately in our nation, people constantly suppress their own political beliefs in elections and when it actually matters because they don't think that their voice counts. I'm here to tell you that when you do that, things like this happen. The news becomes slanted, propaganda starts getting blown all around. We already have fake news on social media all the time. We don't need it in the newsroom. If we have thousands of people contacting them and telling them that we as Americans will not accept this propaganda, you know, being spread at the hands of an FCC vote, then maybe we can change something. And another thing to stop this is to do a little bit of research, okay? You can combat false news by making sure that you research news and look at it from multiple perspectives and coming to a logical conclusion. Stay away from mainstream media, and if you want to directly affect Sinclair, find out where their local network is, don't watch it. Leave a comment on that network's website, they invited you to do so in the script, okay? But don't allow groups to spread propaganda and fake news. And if it happens again in the future with another group, and you happen to have stumbled upon this video, rinse and repeat, okay? We have to fight fake journalism from all sides, not just the one we don't like. If you're liberal and you see CNN doing this, speak up. If you're conservative and you see Sinclair doing this, speak up. Don't just allow this to happen because it really is dangerous to our nation. Our president is not wrong when he says that fake news is rampant in our society. He's just wrong to suggest that it's only liberal media that's doing it. Guys, we have to stop this from happening, regardless of your political views. Even if you do not live in the United States, because I know many of you don't, please realize that the importance of this spans farther than our own nation. If it's happening here, then it's happening in Europe and South America, Asia, Africa, Australia, anywhere else too. It's not a conspiracy anymore. This is reality. I'd love to see my global viewers help us by sending this message too. Our society will truly thank you for that. Anyways, Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you've helped out and sent your message loud and clear. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter for thoughts and updates. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, signing out.
is extremely dangerous to our democracy.